Well, good afternoon, lovely ladies and gentlemen. Wow, my face looks white and crazy. There we go. That's a little bit better. Woohoo! That was a little spooky. Hope you guys are having a fantastic day. Thank you for your understanding with this midday thing. Back in town after a week um, in LA and an incredible event. So the question that I have for you today, did you know you are typically compensated based on the quality of your questions? It's just something I wanna to touch base with you. I wanna have a conversation with you today. Are you, are, you, are you winning or are you whining? Um, do you have reasons or results? Are you fighting or are you flighting? Do you understand what I'm saying? I, I'm wondering, are you known for your execution or your excuses? These are questions I ask in order to, again, create that cognitive dissonance between who you know you can be and who may be showing up in your body manifesting maybe less than superior and incredible and amazing and magnificent qualities that are inside you because you have the DNA of greatness inside you. And many times, like one of my favorite books says, as iron sharpens iron, so one man sharpens another. Do you know it works for women too? It really true, you could change that around and say, as iron sharpens iron, so one woman sharpens another. So it, it is a gender-free zone when it comes to this. I mean, it's equality for everybody. The opportunity to change the story you tell yourself is significant. Our book of the month in my Jedi program this uh, February was Viktor Frankl's incredible and profound book, Man's Search for Meaning. Viktor Frankl actually survived going through Auschwitz. Incredible psychologist who recognized something very, very powerful. No matter what is taken from you in this life, no matter what is taken from you in this life, no matter what you lose, no matter the suffering, no matter the loss, no matter the pain, no matter the challenge, no matter the incredibly heinous circumstances that may come against you, not at your own doing. There are those that come from your own doing. And then there are those that show up that are completely outside of your control. No matter what happens to you, the most powerful freedom no one can ever take from you is your ability to decide how to respond. You have the freedom to respond. And many times we go on automatic pilot without questioning whether or not the thoughts we are having that create the feeling to that situation are feelings we would like to have in that moment. Let me give you a simple example that I've shared with in the past. So I love going to what's called La Cantera Mall. Enjoy shopping around there. It's an outdoor shopping center. I was with my son one day. All of my four sons have been trained by me to hold the door open for people. Say yes, ma'am. Say no, ma'am. Squeeze a guy's hand super tight when they meet him. Look him in the eyes and introduce himself. I mean, these boys are trained to be men, according to my definition. And... It's awesome to experience. So we went into a Starbucks one day, he held the door open and a sweet lady came up and doted on him and said, son, that is so sweet, that's so kind, that's so wonderful for, uh, people just don't do that anymore, I just don't see that anymore. There's just a disrespect among the youth and to have you do that is so honoring to me and I'm so grateful and so thankful for that. It's, I'm just so pleased to see that you would do that for me. He said, you're welcome, ma'am. We had our cup of coffee. Fast forward two months later, same situation, same place, same Starbucks. We walk in, we're talking, he holds the door open, except this time it's a young lady uh, with spiky purple hair, piercings and tattoos and cigarette and she chunks it and she says, you don't have to open the effing door for me. Just like that. To which he stood stunned and I simply said, he, he didn't open the door because of who you are. He opened the door because of who he is. And she says, I don't give an F what you think about it. At which point my son said to me wisely, dad, I just don't feel like coffee anymore. I said, neither do I son. So here's what I am talking about. Exact same circumstance. A young man holding the door open for another person. Exact 
same circumstance. One person told themselves one story. This is an act of honor. This is an act of chivalry. This is an act of respect. This is a beautiful thing and I'm celebrating it. Another person told themselves an entirely different story. What that story was, I have no idea. Yet her response demonstrated that the thought she had about that circumstance situation was not an empowering story for her to live a life of joy and celebration and gratitude, this highest level of energy, gratitude. Uh, she was a pretty miserable person. It was a very sad situation. So what is my point in that? Same situation, two totally different stories. Now, you, my friend, have the power to have just as significant of an experience with anything that happens to you in your life by deciding what story you are going to tell yourself about that very situation that occurs to you. It is a ridiculously incredible power that you have been given with this free will to decide what it is you're going to think about what happened to you. You get to decide. You get to decide what story it is that you tell yourself which will cause you to show up differently in that circumstance. Let me give you a great example. About a week and a half ago, I was driving on my way to work in the morning, making my morning video as I normally do, and I was talking about having the ability to be a thermometer or a thermostat. The thermometer reacts to what's going on around it, thermostat sets the tone, and I was saying, nobody makes you angry. I mean, you say, that person really makes me angry. No, they don't make you angry. You made a decision to get angry. You chose anger as a response. You could have chosen grace. You could have chosen love. You could have chosen forgiveness. You could have chosen understanding. You chose anger that didn't make you angry. You chose anger as a response. And as I was saying this, this person comes across two lanes of traffic, nearly runs me and a couple other people off the road to take an exit. And it was a trip. And I could see the reactions of all the drivers around me screaming and yelling and flipping her off and honking the horn. And I said, what a perfect opportunity for me to demonstrate what I'm talking to you about. I'm not going to choose anger. I'm not going to choose to wig out. I'm not going to choose to let that affect me. How do, here's the story I'm going to tell myself. I'm going to show you how I do it right here. I said, here's the story I'm going to tell myself. How do I not know that she is not eight centimeters dilated racing to the hospital? How do I not know that she doesn't have a child on that front seat with a broken arm that she's rushing to the hospital? How do I not know that she just got a call saying that her father who is in hospice is on his last few breaths and she better get there right away. How do I, how do I not know that that could be the circumstances? By the way, uh, each one of those circumstances is legit. Each one of those circumstances occurs in life every day. But you see, I decided the story I would tell myself that caused me to feel empowered and not diminished. And you have the ability to do the same thing. Are, are you winning or are you whining? Are you getting results? Or are you making reasons? Are you, are you fighting or are you in flight mode? This is the question that I ask you because I would like for you to walk away from this video in the next closing few seconds with this understanding. You are the one who gets to decide how you are going to move forward from this point. You get to decide how you are going to feel at this point. You get to decide the experience you are going to have. In Shakespeare's Hamlet, there's a great quote that ties this together. He says, there is no good or bad, but thinking makes it so. You get to decide, friend. What are you gonna call the situation? Do you wanna live a life of drama? Do you want to live a life of needing tissues for your issues? Do you want to walk around with a sad sack face, always coming up short in your life, telling everybody you know how bad it is? Or would you like to start winning? Would you like to start growing? Would you like to start accepting responsibility for where you are and putting into practice these simple tools that will enable you to become a different person? Maybe somebody you would actually enjoy hanging around? The power is yours, ladies and gentlemen. You were given the amazing gift of free will. I challenge you today to use it for good. Have a great day, guys.